Welcome to Natural Science and Health Education 3. My name is Ananias Aquaterra. I'll be your tutor for this subject this year. Um, I'm going to give you a presentation uh, just to prepare for your exam for August and November examination. I hope you have read and uh, commenced with your study for the exam and um, after I read your assignment I see you have uh, performed well so and that's very good so for me the aim of the presentation I'm not going to teach you the concept or the the subject itself but I'm going to detail out to you what you are expected to know or to do or to prepare yourself for the uh, exam uh, in other words, I'm giving you what you call examination scope. And um, if you prepare yourself well, based on what I'm going to give you today, then you'll be able to perform very well in your exam. Because you have your study guides, you have your materials, you just need to go through, based on what I'm going to give you, the tips of description and what you need to understand, what you need to know, then you can do very well, so that you can uh, do better in your exam. So, um... When, when, when you ask, asking a question in an exam, we usually use many verbs that guide students to define terms very well. Uh, because if I ask you, for example, define, it's different totally from illustrate. So you must be able to know this verb. Define, contrast, deduce, describe, discuss, and the rest. In order for you to be able to answer the questions. Uh, specifically and correctly as they are being asked. <clears throat> the important terms to remember when it comes to definition or descriptions are highlighted here. These terms they can be asked, for example, define microscope. Or for example, they can ask uh, the place whereby you feel and for example they say, no, uh, the, the gas, what is the most gas which is making up the atmosphere and we have studied this definition and description you could simply say okay the gas should be nitrogen for example so microscope correlates energy gravitational force masses mercury newton and nitrogen paper chromatography pupa reproduction reproduct reproduction acid sensitivity weight and where which are miller bearers those are the terms and description you must know for your examination you can be asked in different ways. You can describe or define or you feel in. So, but if you understand them, you'll be able to do something better. Um, when it comes to detailed questions, uh, for example, describe, illustrate, and uh, define contrast, uh, there are things here you have to look at in order for you to, to do better because they might be asked in examination because the, the probability for this kind of question to be asked is high. For example, you should know harbor process, producer of energy in the environment. You have to, there are a lot of, might be few or less energy in the environment. You must know which one is the producer for the energy environment. Types of beams of light, uh, converging, diverging, whatever, so many of them. You should know all of them. You should know how to describe them. You should know how to differentiate them. You should know how to say something on them when you are being asked. Translucent uh, object, gases, vest combinations, and the experiment that you can use. Uh, to determine which one is which one. For example, oxygen, how do you do to test this is oxygen, for example? You should be prepared to answer that. Uh, different types of forces, uh, their unit functions impact toward different object. Example, fairing object, uh, instrument used to measure force. You must also know that one. Uh, there are a lot of energies that are indicated in the, in the study guide. You should know all the types of energies and you must be able to explain them when you are asked, for example, what kind of, if, if, if a person climbs on the mountain, uh, stage one to two to three, what are those types of energy involved? You should know that. And uh, the necessity for people, uh, people's sexual health, to be attained and maintained. You should study that clearly in the, in the study guide as well. <clears throat> we continue. Um, 
We have to know the atomic structure of elements, identify the element groups and the period, a period, a period different elements belong to. For example, if you should study the periodic table and if I ask you uh, what is the element which is in the same group as bearing, for example, you should be able to tell me. And for example, if I ask you what are the characteristic, common characteristics of those elements in that group, you should be able to tell me. For example, they have two shells or they have this, or they have this ad, uh, same uh, atomic number, for example, something. You should be able to tell me that. Um, this, uh, and the reason why wood or aluminium is used instead of steel and disadvantage of using steel should know that. Um, there are different types of uh, gases that are being produced. So you should also be able to know the greenhouse effects and its causes. You should also know the reasons why people they cannot go to Ma, but they, they cannot live at Ma, but they just live on Earth. You should think of things. For example, I might be Ma have oxygen or doesn't have. Do they support life or not? Think of the temperature which is at Ma and which is on Earth. So you can be able now to say no. Maybe Mars is is hottest. Is doesn't have maybe oxygen. Then those kind of things. But they are clearly indicated in the study guide as well. And activity that increase in carbon dioxide in an atmosphere is also very important when it comes to exam preparation. Um, based on the subjects, melting points, boiling point. You must be able to identify uh, which one is a solid, which one is a liquid, which one is a gas, for example, at room temperature. So in this kind of question, you'll be, either, you'll be given types of substances, maybe two or three in exam. And uh, for example, they, they give you uh, also boiling point and melting point, just illustrated. And then for you, you'll be able to see, okay, if this subject have this melting point and boiling point and oh, melting point, which one can be... Uh, a gas, I mean, can be a gas or liquid at uh, room temperature, for example. You should also be able to know the arrangement of particles. Uh, which one is gas, which one is liquid, which one is solid. Uh, which one, and also the force involved in there. Uh, and also the, the regular, the, the phases also. Which one have the regular, regular phases of, of yeah, based on the, uh, on the, on the, on the particles uh, arrangement do they have. Yeah, that is very, very important. Um, the, gen the danger of polluting water to human is, is also important uh, part of uh, the also content that you need to know in natural uh, science and, and uh, health uh, because water is, is, is a vital uh, need for the human being in uh, everyday life so but you have to think now if you pollute water what is the uh, danger to it to human health Think of like nowadays we have cholera outbreaks, we have many gastrointestinal diseases out there and other things. So read the content very well and also able to answer that one. Where is the method used to make drinking water safe? Think of it. Uh, distillation might be or boiling them or something like that. Um, and also you must know the, also the gases and the percentages in air. Think of oxygen. What percent they have? Carbon dioxide. How many percent it have? No all of them. When you are happen to be asked one or both of them or of them, then you'll be able to answer the, those um, questions clearly. Uh, greenhouse effect is of uh, carbon dioxide. It's also a merit content that uh, students should know. And um, you should also consider a ways uh, during thunder uh, thunderstorm, the ways of safety indoors and outdoor during thunderstorm. Different between closed and an open circuit be able to draw those diagrams to explain their differences. Um, we have many plants in Namibia, but uh, uh, this time we have to consider which are uh, Melabellas. Uh, think of it is adaptation, characters that makes it to be, to live in the desert. So it's also very uh, critical, it's very important. Uh, you should also be able to uh, show the movement of energy through the environment. You can also be able, to, you should also be able to diamat, diagrammatically uh, show it, draw it, and show uh, me the, how it, that you understand. You'll be able to draw it. Differentiate um, conductors and insulator, and uh, give the example. Uh, characteristic of living organisms, you must all know of them. 
and uh, know those characteristics that differentiate them from non-living organism. Uh, waste animal response to stimuli in the environment, and uh, you should also be able to define the word mixture. Furthermore, name of the compounds formed by the chemical reactions between ions and sulfur should know that, and also the four fuel commonly used in Namibia, and how each one is being used at any level or at any community or anywhere. We continue with the presentations. Uh, with the use of the examples, students, you should be able to compare and contrast. And this compare and contrast is a word that I gave you uh, at the beginning that I, should, I told you that you should be able to know this word because if I ask you compare and contrast and you don't know what compare and contrast doesn't mean, then you won't be able to answer this question. But at least you should be able to compare and contrast between vertebrate and invertebrate. Think of which one having a big bone, which one doesn't have a big bone, which one is might be called bradded, which one is not called bradded, and then you should read and more and understand that very better. And uh, you should also continue reading and know the adaptations or the characters of fish or the feature of fish that makes, that makes it to adapt uh, very well in it is um, a good environment. Um, <clears throat> following the ball of swallowed, that it means starting from when the food is uh, swallowed until the excretion process, you should be able to explain and discuss the functions and law of the five organs of the digestive system. You should know system. You should know at least um, process number one, what happened. Organ number two, organ number three, what they do, what they do until the last process of excretion. That is very, very important that students should be able to, uh, to know and answer the exam if it happened to be asked in any exam anyway. Um, deter each of the good properties of aluminium because aluminium is good of, is one of the um, our product in Namibia and we usually use it so you should be able at least to give uh, detailed information on the good properties of it as well as also give the use of carbon dioxide. Um, explain, uh, knowing the, 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 the electricity's nature of it, the danger of it, the good of it, you, you should be able to explain why you can't uh, put out the electricity fire using water. You should know that. Think of conductivity. Uh, you, think, you should think of water. The way of uh, like conductivity, non-conductivity, and uh, the danger involved there, then you should be able to answer that question. Uh, ways to put out the cooking oil uh, fire. You should also know that. Uh, student, um, I have to inform you that this was just a tip or let me say, for example, exam is core, which is very important for you because we have the content already in the study guide. And uh, we, with this what I gave you, you have to properly read through and make sure that you, 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 you understand every concept that is pertaining this concept I gave you or these tips I gave you in the presentation so that you'll be able to answer them. And when you're able to answer them, you, then you pass the exam very well. Uh, if, if you're having any question uh, or any concern or anything that you didn't understand in uh, this presentation, for example, when I say uh, with, ex with, with the use of example, compare and contrast the vertebrate and invertebrate, then you have your note and you can't understand vertebrate and invertebrate, for example, in detail. You can always email me or contact me and say, uh, please say, how can I go on about this and this? I can send you the full um, note. And uh, I can even explain in detail for you how, what it means, how it works, like that. Because I'm here to help you, student, to do the best in the future. Um, with that, I end the presentation. Thank you for watching and listening. And I wish you your utmost best in your 2018 exam. Thank you.